let us discuss about Joule's law of heating. This is also known as ohmic heating and resistive heating. We all observe that when an electric current passes through a conductor, some heat is released. The amount of heat released is proportional to the square of the current and also proportional to the resistance of the conductor. This simple relationship is known as Joule's law. Now let's discuss about historical background of this law. Resistive heating was first studied by James Prescott Joule in 1841. He immersed a length of wire in a fixed mass of water and measured the temperature rise due to a known current flowing through the wire for a 30 minute period. By increasing and decreasing the current and the length of the wire, he observed that the heat produced was proportional to the square of the current multiplied by electrical resistance of the wire and time during which the current was flowing. If we formulate this, we will get amount of heat H is proportional to square of current I. H is also proportional to electrical resistance R and proportional to T. That means H is proportional to I square into R into T, which can be rewritten as H is equal to 1 by J into I square into R into T, where J is a constant known as Joule's mechanical equivalent of heat. Mechanical equivalent of heat may be defined as the number of work units which when completely converted into heat furnish one unit of heat. Joule's heating is independent of the direction of current. If we look at the phenomenon from atomic level, we can see the flow of electric current is nothing but flow of electrons. Hence, there will always be resistance from the fixed atoms of the wire. The fixed atoms of the wire resist the flow of electrons and as a result there are collisions. And as the kinetic energy converts into heat energy, we see the wire is getting hot. Thank you.